Hello guys, and welcome back to, uh, finally another episode of Feed the Beast. Sorry about that, kind of fell off the horse there for a while. Uh, I know I said at the end of the last one that I was still in school, just got a job, stuff like that. Finally, it's calmed down, so here I am. Uh, just take a quick look here. I did set up a random little ME system here. I think the last time I showed you this, there was nothing in it. So we got a little bit of stuff. It's an auto chisel, you can ignore that. I have a few Ender I.O. machines here. Very useful. This is just for some processing from a long time ago. So as you guys can see here, I've tried to remove most of the chests that I had out here. So most of that is gone. Um, I have emptied this for the most part. There's a little bit of manulium in there. Let me uh, turn down some settings really quick. I don't think my computer's liking uh, what I'm doing right now, so let's see. Minimal. Just turn that off. And we're not going to be going very far, so we'll turn that down to 6. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. And speaking of that, I will be getting a new computer eventually, soon, hopefully, because this one works fine when I'm playing by myself. I get 30 frames, but once I hit the record button, it doesn't exactly like me. All right, so looking at this, nothing's really changed much up here. Started doing a little bit of blood magic, not much. I got a QED, really simple thing. Uh, if we look here... Just a little bit of diamonds, a little bit of ender pearls, stuff like that. I already showed you guys my quarry. That's where all my resources have been coming from. These ender flux things, just as simple. Uh, ender flux, if we look here. Down, or dash. Ender flux. Again, really simple stuff. I have a um, enchanted the ender with looting three, which I used. I've got looting three from this just allows you to custom choose um, your enchantments and stuff like that. Very useful instead of just using an enchantment table, which I have here. And I have a lot of XP. Every single one of these is filled with uh, 256,000, except for that one where the uh, grate currently is. I'll just hop over here whenever I have levels and do that. Don't worry, I'm not usually unpeaceful. I've just been... Uh, farming some cattle, so I wanted to make sure I could hang out outside without that happening. If we get on here now, I've been doing some work. I uh, built this circular room down here, and this glowstone is actually made up of notches, so it can fit in the middle. We've got a spawning room that I'm working on in here. Currently, this is an Enderman spawner. It's currently hooked up. I don't have enough power to run it, particularly. So, yeah, just got a little bit of stuff in here. This cobblestone is obviously temporary. Uh, working on not using any torches down here. So there's little lamps everywhere and little bits of glowstone places. Uh, here we have some villagers, just so I can get some emeralds, so I can trade with this guy, which is a miscraft villager, which we'll get to later. And just a chest with building supplies that's been here forever. We got this sheep that I need a name for. He's been down here forever, ever since I started building this stuff, which is just this episode for you guys, but for me it's been probably about, oh, let's see how long we've been playing. Um, da, da, da. I don't remember how to get to that. Oh, statistics. Here we go. Yeah, 9.85 days. I've been playing this for a little while. Uh, we've just got a few things down here. Not much. Just some more processing. Lots of industrial craft stuff. Uh, if we go in here real quick, don't remember if I showed this before, but this was my e uh, my XP thing. However, these Atonis activators now require power, so I haven't kicked this back up yet. Here we have a molecular transformer, which is a really complex piece of machinery that's pretty simple to craft. And if we look here, not that bad, just some transformers and stuff like that, nothing too crazy. And what it does is, if we look here, we should be able to get recipes. So you can transmute stuff into other things, so like iron to iridium, skull to nether star, netherrack to gunpowder, sand, stuff like that. You can transmute 
this, which is what, something we're going to be making today. You can get glowstone from wool, lapis from wool, redstone from wool. You can get sapphires, which is good because no really other way to get that. Uh, rubies, diamonds. You can transmute ores up. So, copper to ferrous, several different coppers. And then tin to silver, several of those. And then, where's the next one? Silver to gold, yep. And then gold to shiny, which shouldn't be an issue for me because we'll look in a second. That's what this setup is for here, actually. All right, so if we head back upstairs, oh, and down here, I'll show you real quick. Morph into the wisp to get under this so nobody escapes. I dug out a giant room down here. That's going to house my reactor. It's already got everything set up. Haven't powered it yet. So, yeah, that's full of jelly cryothium, which I'll show you how I got that in a second, too. All right. Morph back on out of here and head upstairs and take a look at what we've been doing up there. It's not a lot of stuff, just some uh, cosmetic stuff, and it's raining. All right, whatever. Uh, nothing really has changed out here, I don't think, but I added this shortly after. This is a little area. It's probably going to get a little laggy when we get over here. Maybe, maybe not. All right, we should be good, yeah. Look at how great this off, uh, the smooth lighting turned off looks. Wonderful. Over here we have my uh, cobblestone compressor. Now, under he underneath here are multiple levels of cobblestone generators and compressors. If we take a look real quick. Just uh, this item node with three world upgrades in it. Lava under here, making cobblestone, compressing all the way up here. It makes quadruple, and then I just have to compress it a little bit more. So we head back up. Just passive generation. Oh, sorry, it creates quintuple. So I'm already up to four sex or septuple. And once I get an octuple, that will smelt into eight bedrock ingots. However, I'm at the place where I can just use diamonds at this point. But, you know, I want to be at the point where I can generate an octuple compressed cobblestone in something like an in game day. That'd be fun. So I already have some bedrock in here. Bedrock right here and you get that by just taking quadruple and triple and putting a diamond block in the middle which isn't too hard for me to do now what I wanted this for is if we look here dang it I hate that you can't do that in here we have to look up lava now as you can see here I have some of these lava generators and that's what I got the QED for because you take these generators and you put them around in transfer node for energy now you have to make this with the QED not too hard now, what I want is this 64 multiplier, but to do that, you need eight of them. Eight times, so you need quite a few of these individual lava generators, generators but you need the hypertransfer node, which is four transfer nodes in bedrock. So, got that rolling here. So all we need to do is pull this one up. All my power is coming from lava at the moment, by the way. I just have a pump in the nether. We throw this in here. I should probably put this here. Look lava back up again. Pull these out. And then we get the hyper node. And we'll get 164 times power generation. So this will help until I get my reactor up and running. Because uh, my setup right now is I just have all this power feeding into here. As you can see, lots of generation going on. Uh, got a really big buffer there. I'm still using uh, these little ones everywhere just for a simple power generation. Yep, so that's that. Um, what else important? Really the only other important thing that I've been doing is working with these books. This has been my big quest. I've got a lot of book, uh, a lot of modifiers here, got a lot of biomes, got a lot of blocks. Uh, so as you can see there, the blocks is what I've really been, because look, biofuel, that's perfect. Biomass, blood, chocolate milk, fire water, iron ore, golden ore, glue, gelid cryothium, flux, uh, all this different stuff, you know, molten iron. As I showed you before, that's where I got all that iron from, which I still haven't run out of. Now, I've been working on creating these ages, but they haven't been going very well, except for this random one I got here. Now, if we pop in and take a look, I do not know how I got this, but I got really lucky. So if you see on the map, it still hasn't updated yet. There we go. Ta-da. I don't know how I got this, but I got really lucky. 
because Jelly Cryothium is pretty hard to get. So what I got over here is a Fluid Transposer and my Endothermic Pump and just a random energy cell. Because really the only thing Jelly Cryothium is good for, if we can get it up, Jellied, yeah, there's really no uses except for in generators and or in your um, shoot, in your um, can't talk in your reactor, geez, there it is, and uh, to make some stuff in here. So if we look in here, got a lot of capsules. If we can just jump through these, come on. Alright, whatever. Look for it down here. There's, if you use the Cinnabon ore, and spell it, uh, where is it? Alright. This isn't working. Let's jump let's jump back home. Because I can show it easily there. Alright, so we're home. If we run up here, I have some. If you take Cinnabar, sorry, if you take the Cinnabar ore and you run it through a fluid trans or fluid transposer with the jelly cryothium, you get Cinnabar. Cinnabar can be used to instantly triple ores, which I've been using for shiny ingots. From that, you get rich slag, which also instantly instantly triples ores, which I've been saving. So if we run over here and look, uh, shiny ingots should be towards the top because I have a lot of them. Because all it takes is a little bit. And then, also using the cinnabar. So let's get back there. Cinnabar, you get shiny from Ferris. Ferris isn't good for much, but it'll guarantee you a shiny ingot if you use Cinnabar. So I, that's what I've been using that for. Just taking some useless ores and getting some nice stuff from that. Now the end goal from me working with the books is to create an age for, like, say, liquid iron. Then I won't have to worry about iron, which is a common commodity. Or liquid fuel. Then I just plop something down there and don't have to worry about fuel or anything. So yeah. That's that's what I've been doing. I got some crystals here so I can build a portal. I've really just been collecting resources. That's all I've been doing. Correct. Correct. Gosh, I cannot talk today. Collecting resources and building. That's all I've been doing. So we got. Look, our generator here is already full. If we look down here, we've just got a crystal growth accelerator and some other stuff. I haven't done much with my AE system yet. I've been waiting to build a place for it, because obviously this is not going to be permanent. I will have a terminal here, obviously, but uh, I won't have my system up here. I'm planning on creating another room down here somewhere that will allow me, probably linked up off the end of this, uh, that will just be like the, the, uh, the hub, so to say. Or maybe just stick it under the floor here would be a better idea, since this is technically the hub. Uh, that will allow me to access it, like say I'll have a panel here or something, one by the elevator, stuff like that. Just easy access ports. Um, and then back here we have ore processing for my um, re uh, ender digger. Not ender, whatever. Yeah, it's an ender digger. But I've just been piping everything into drums because there's no good way to sort with, this, uh, with the mods I currently have installed. I would have to get a bucket and then all that. So it comes into this ender chest over here. I have a filter filtering them out into two different smelteries because uh, we need to keep them separate because if they're not separate they will mix and form different alloys which I don't want. They go into the smeltery, they're pumped out with these pressure fluid conduits and just go directly into these barrels. So pretty easy. I have some other stuff set up in here that isn't being used at all. <coughs> My easy way to make blocks, stuff like that. My uh, alloy furnace, because I want to get into blue power, but that's kind of difficult to do because I don't have zinc, but that's another story. Right now, my big project I'm working on, obviously, besides the, um, oh, the sheep's in there. He'll be all right. Besides the reactor, to accompany that reactor, I need uh, an easier way to get ores because I'm tired of tearing up the landscape. I want to use the laser drill. Now, I already built one, but I need the precharges to be able to do that. So if we hop over to the island up here, what I've been doing is I've been harvesting cattle, trying to get pink slime. Now, pink slime allows you to uh, make a pink slime, which gives you... Yep, we have enough. Uh, gets you... 
these pink, pink slime crystals that we use. Now we're going to want to spawn him somewhere good. It looks like one of these cows got out. Just get him back in here. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, there's an odd number. So if we grab this guy, put him back in here. We can probably turn this system off at the moment. Did I already do that? Yes, I did. Okay. Moving babies is off, and we can turn the slaughterhouse off. Because really the only point in this was getting pink slime. Because once I have one, I can get as many as I want from this one simple trick. Click now. I also have an ender farm over there. But let's morph back real quick and head downstairs. I'm not sure where I want to keep this guy. Um, oh, and I gotta make sure I turn peaceful off, because if peaceful is on, let's just go to easy, because I don't want these guys dying. Uh, let's just, let's go all the way. Because uh, if, I don't want these guys to die, and if I don't have it on easy, or don't have it on somewhat, something other than peaceful, I'm just going to lose this guy immediately. Now here I have some slime and beginning formulas. Um, hmm. I could do it in here. I'll just do it in here for now. Uh, let me go, yeah, it'll be alright. I'll just put a bar across the door, so that way guys can't get in. Problem solved. Alright, so we spawn this guy in here. Pretty sure you're supposed to spawn. Give me a second here. Okay, guys, I got it. I just had to leave it on the ground for a little while. This little guy just spawned here. Pardon the red line, sorry about that, but we're just gonna have to deal with it because we gotta get going with this. Alright, so, we got a little guy. Now we can make him bigger with this in beginning. Now he's bigger, he'll actually hurt me. So let's back off. Alright, so he's big, and now we wanna get him to the biggest he can be. There we go. Okay. So he's he's still fast, even though he's big. So now we can just keep him in this room. Uh, let's see. Let's go get some glass really quick. We'll lure him over here and trap him in the Enderman cage. Let's escape really quick. Come on, shrink faster, shrink faster, shrink faster. All right, get it out of there. All right, he's trapped. So let's get some glass real quick and trap him in there, and that way we can start uh, harvesting him. Come on, let me up. I think I went to hard, so let's go back down. Oh, no, we're on easy. All right. Or normal. Uh, glass. I don't have any more of that glass. All right, let's just use some of this quite clear glass. All right, so let's actually get some more of these growth and bigoting things. So slime. There it is. And that's all it takes. So if we pop this in there, we can get another. And I think I have another syringe in my bag here. Yep, there we go. And we can get one more going. So with that, we can explode him and make a bunch of smaller slimes, which then we can grow and then make more s bigger slimes. And it's just a, a, an effect, because I hope we'll one day have a bunch of these um, laser drills going. And for that, we're going to need a lot of crystals. All right, so let's get in here. Come on. Trap him in here with the Enderman. Uh, so he won't be able to reach me up here, so we'll just fly over and add some glass real quick. Draw him back over. Fly back over. Because these small slimes are going to be too... Uh, are going to be able to fit under that door. Alright, so he should be good now. I know the glasses are different colors, but I'll fix that in a little bit. Alright, so if we make it just below the ceiling, we should be okay. Just for safety, we'll make just a little opening we can get into, just in case. Alright, so we're good. So now if we give him another one of these, he'll explode and give us more slimes, which then in turn we can make into big slimes themselves. Man, they're really active. Sorry. This uh, cutlass I have here, which is my new sword, I don't think you guys ever saw the old sword, but it's in here. It's just a really uh, damage-heavy longsword. Gosh, sorry, I'm having trouble speaking today. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> I need to get back in practice. Oh, and I left the fan on, too. Let's get that off. There might have been a slight whooshing there. I'm sorry about that. All right, so we got the cutlass, which I added luck to in sharpness. Right now it does uh, 10.5 hearts. 
I just need another star, and that'll give me my full capacity. So if we kill this, that one's wearing a hat. And I have a, a magnetic ring on from Botany. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so we got quite a few there, quite a few there, and quite a, nope, none there. All right, so we have eight, so that should be enough. And we also got some slime seeds and some raw meat nuggets. All right, we can leave these guys down here. All right. Now, question, does the golden lasso work on these guys? It does not. All right. So real quick, uh, I'm going to go and get some safari nets because, oh, let's stay all right, to it. I'm going to, uh, because I want to capture these guys and make sure they don't despawn if I accidentally switch back to peaceful or something and forget about them because I don't want to have to go through harvesting all those cows again. So let's see, safari, i got three of them only need two. And I got a gun so we can do it from a distance. Alright. So let's capture these guys back up. This is how I captured the villagers, by the way, because I was dumb and just didn't make a golden lasso. Alright, let's transfer back into Wisp and head into the battlefield. Okay. And one... And, oop, we fell. Two. We got him. Should be right in there. Large pink slimes. And I'll keep those in my bag so I don't forget about them. Now, these two villagers in here are um, for a villager breeder that I'm going to be working on later. <clears throat> but that's not today's episode. Today, we are just doing these pink slimes. All right, so with these pink slime balls, we can make anything that a normal slime could, but that's a waste because they're so hard to get. And if we keep looking, come on, where is it? Where is it? Alright, we'll just we'll just look at this. The crystal. The pink slime crystal. Now we're gonna need a whole well, okay, we need a whole block of them, so we need to put one of these guys back down. <laughs> I didn't realize it required so much. All right, well, I'll do that off camera, but you saw the important part of it anyway. So we got that. I can start making the uh, pre-charges and then that. So let's go back down. Oh, we got to morph again. Let's go back down here and take a look at my reactor. Now that I've shown this to you guys, I will probably power it up. Might as well go grab some fuel for it now. I don't have any wires hooked up or anything, uh, but this will be what powers my um, laser drill and my base eventually. Although I imagine this lava generator is doing a pretty good job. If I get just a few of these, it probably shouldn't be too big of a deal. Because it looks like it generates quite a lot of power on just a little bit of lava. And that's powering my whole AE system. Although that's not a lot at the moment. It's just two drives. I don't even have any crafting yet, but I do have some crafting stuff in here that I can use eventually. So if we look, uh, what was I coming here for again? I completely forget. That's all right. Let's throw some of this in here. Don't need that. And the rest goes in my bag. All right. I was, oh yeah, I was coming to get fuel for the reactor. So if we get about, well, let's get two stacks of uranium. I have not a lot of that, so that's partly what I want this for. Uh, we'll probably put the uranium filter on the the first laser drill so that this reactor can stay up and running because if we look at the filters here why is there not oh no it's an upgrade upgrade focus that's what they call it okay focus if we look at the yellow focus or the uses for the yellow focus sorry it only has a 0.3% chance to get this yellow right, and there's not much else it can get with it. Nothing too terribly useful. But if we look at lime, it gives us emeralds and a 99.99% chance of uranium. So that's obviously a lot better. And then eventually we'll probably have uh, focuses for a lot of these, like black, mm, maybe. Probably don't need coal. We'll have one for redstone, obviously. That's pretty useful. And firestone. I don't have any of that yet. I don't think it spawned. Uh, probably don't need peridot. Brown, iron, could always go for that. Actually, probably not. We'll definitely have uh, this blue, because this will get us lapis, mana stone, sapphire, 
Appetite, shiny, or no, not shiny, and cobalt. There's a light blue, though. Uh, yeah, where's the light blue? That'll get us diamonds and shiny, so that's obviously one we're going to want to do. Alright, so let's pop this in here. And it takes just a little over a stack to fill up. Nice and full in there. The configuration on top is this. I'll probably have to fine-tune these. We should probably do these at least 40% for now. Because I don't want to be burning too, through fuel too much. Because I'm probably not going to be using it a lot. Alright. So that'll be good once I actually get this up and running. If we take a quick look at what it generates per tick. It's using just about uh, 0.085 millibuckets per tick, which is actually quite a lot. But that's all right, once I get this thing up and running. And it's producing uh, 8,000 flux per tick. So that buffer's filling up nice and quick. We'll just turn that off for now. Um, so yeah, 50% full, just about in probably about five seconds isn't bad. Uh, obviously once I get some more resources I will upgrade this to a turbine reactor but because I had so much cryo uh, cryo cryothium on hand I just went ahead and made that and yeah so let me know if you guys have uh, <coughs> pardon me, a uh, good name idea for my sheep here. I don't really have any ideas. I was also thinking of maybe a color if we wanted to do like Jeb or Dinnerbone or something, get the rainbow color, whichever one does that, I can't remember. We could do that. Or we could make them like blue or purple, or we could change it pr on a weekly basis. I mean, I really don't care. He's just been my friend down here while I've been building all this. Alright, so hopefully I'll be releasing another video soon. Sorry about the, uh, just walk through here, but I'll sure I'm, I'm sure I'll do some building on camera at some point. Maybe explain kind of the style and feel I'm going for with all these different rooms. They all kind of have the same layout at the moment besides the um, ore processing room, which is just very rudimentary at the moment. This is not what I was going for at all. The smelteries is, this look with the smelteries is what I was going for, but all this, uh, not so much. Probably put a facade, a cover here, because <laughs> I don't like the way this looks. And uh, I'm probably going to install the extra cells mod which will allow me to import these liquids directly into my AE system and then I can export them into blocks or export them into a smeltery to create alloys which would be really convenient so yeah I'll probably get that here in a few minutes but yeah that's basically it just a lot of building and resource gathering and uh, age creating so I will see you guys next time sorry about the red lines again bye bye Thank you.